Good morning. My name is André Mol. I'm based in the Netherlands and I'm responsible for a product line called Thermal Fluid Systems. And my presentation today is about intelligent control of heat demand in order to save on fuel costs. First, uh, I would like to, uh, to tell you a little bit about uh, Thermal Fluid Systems. That is an, uh, a heating system on board of ships, typically consisting of one uh, or more economizers where we are uh, using the waste heat ex uh, energy from the exhaust gases in combination with one or more oil fight heaters. And this heat transfer, uh, heat energy is being transferred by means of a liquid through the whole system. So the system also consists of two or more circulation pumps, expansion tank, valves, etc. The available heat is being produced, as mentioned, in an economizer or exhaust gas heater on the right side of the, the sheet where the exhaust gas of the engines are passing the heating coils and heat up the, the, the liquid inside the coils as well as by an oil fight heater where a burner is burning oil or gas to, uh, in order to, to produce heat energy. The system uh, is, is automatically controlled by means of a lot of sensors uh, measuring flow and temperature inside the system and starting and stopping the, the burner and the pumps where needed. In addition to a standard system where normally or in most cases all the heat consumers are uh, controlled by manual operated valves, we have an additional system, it's called energy management system or short EMS, wherein each and every uh, heat consumer on board uh, can be controlled from the control panel instead of manual uh, operated. The energy, energy management system is a, a temperature control system for the heat consumers and makes a continuous comparison between the available heat from the heat sources and actual heat demand from the various uh, consumers. It's being done by actuated valves at the heat consumers and by means of a uh, PLC built in in the control panel with a touchscreen for operation by the crew. On this touchscreen, the crew can easily recognize the heating system, the various components in the heating system, like the, the, the oil fight heater, the economizer, uh, the pumps, and the operation of the, the various uh, components. But there is also a listing of all the various heat consumers on board, wherein the crew can easily set a certain temperature and, and, and date and time where this heat consumer has, uh, has to be uh, at a certain temperature. And the control system is simply arranging uh, the heat supply to the consumer in such a way that this temperature will be reached at the requested uh, uh, moment. Furthermore, the crew can select preferred heat consumers. So which consumers are most important to get heat energy and which consumers are less preferred. <coughs> So why would you install an EMS on board of your system? Uh, you can easily set a, request, a required time and temperature for each and every separate heat consumer. You can set a uh, preferential sequence, so which one has to be more important than the other. That means that when the heat demand is more than the actual heat production at that moment from the exhaust gas heater, normally in a standard system the oil fight heater will start to burn fuel to add the missing energy. But with the EMS, the system simply blocks the, the less important uh, uh, consumers to avoid that the burner has to start. So with that, you avoid unnecessary heat consumption, uh, the minimizers of peak loads, and with that, you are saving on fuel oil costs. And that's the reason why ship owners will find the Alpha Level Energy Management System is easy to operate and fuel cost saving green solution in addition to the standard thermal fluid system. And it, it is really additional to the standard system. That's in brief what I would like to discuss. And I'm very much willing to, uh, to explain you in more detail. I'm available at the booth today.